Hello all, in this video we are going to solve question number 9, technically the last problem in expression evaluation in JNTU R18C language syllabus. Uh, for that what I did was I opened my VS code and created a file called geometric-series.c and also I copy pasted the problem here and before uh, start writing the code okay uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, try to understand and write the logic then we can dive in and start uh, writing the c program okay uh, basically looking at the program we can understand even though we don't know what is geometric progression what we can understand is here the user will actually give uh, n and x two values we are supposed to read and uh, we need to simply substitute uh, uh, the values here okay so for suppose uh, uh, he has given 5 okay so we need to start from 5 power 0 how do we write 5 power 0 cap i need cap okay i found it so 5 power 0 plus then 5 power 1 okay so that is what happens right here if you look look at it carefully 5 power 0 or anything to power 0 is actually 1 so 1 plus 5 power 1 and then comes 5 power 2 okay 5 square that is 25 that's why we have 25 and then 5 cube 5 cube is 125 so technically we are supposed to run a loop that starts from 0 till n because n is 3 right and x is nothing but here our 5 is uh, x okay now we understood that we are supposed to use for loop and all we have to do is in in this uh, 0 1 2 3 we can simply put our iterator i and simply we can give x value uh, and start uh, writing the code okay how to uh, write a c program so basics of c program i made a separate video i'm going to leave that uh, uh, link description uh, a video link in the description okay you can go out and check it out before start writing the program okay the importance of main function and printf and scanf and header functions as well so we are going to start writing the program and we are supposed to read two values from user right enter x and n and then scanf i am gonna read into ampersand x comma ampersand n i'm gonna give int x and per n okay and then i'm gonna simply run my loop i less than how many times n i plus plus and i don't know what is i so i'm gonna declare it and at the same time i'm gonna include my header file as well okay and now looking at our logic all we have to do is x power i that is what we are supposed to write so for that we what we are going to do is we are going to use power function and going to give x comma i and in order to use power we are supposed to include another header file called math.h so somebody has written that function and kept it in the header file what we have to do is we don't have to reinvent the wheel all we have to do is include that header file and start consuming that function in our code so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take sum equal to zero and here sum is equal to sum plus that's it and so finally what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print to my sum or geometric expression equal to hyphen percentile d in that percentile d i'll keep my sum let's try to compile and execute it okay i open my terminal i am gonna compile it i'm gonna give the same geometric series dot c okay it is telling that i don't know what is power even though we include the math that's the problem uh, uh, with math dot h library so for that what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to give lm hyphen lm so it will actually link um, to that header file so that we don't face this problem and now um, i'm gonna run it geometric series i'm gonna give five three so it's coming as 31 again we did a minor mistake uh, what could be the mistake basically 25 plus 5 30 31 plus 125 126 plus 
um, 30 okay somewhere around we need to get 156 but somehow 31 looking at the program itself you can clearly tell that right we missed putting equal so we are actually running n minus one times okay so that's the issue again i'm going to compile it and run it this time i'm going to give five three yes perfect it's working fine and then i'm i can go ahead and start uh, um, playing around with the output i can give five five and you can check it out whether it's correct or wrong or i can give eight two and you can play around with the output thanks for watching the video if you like the video then like the video share and subscribe for more similar tech content Bye.